Hey there everybody, how's it going? Sandman here. Happy February. I can't believe January is gone. Where the heck did it go? Um, it seems like just yesterday. It was it was New Year's Eve and and uh, you know, it was ringing in 2014 and uh, and here we are. It's it's already February 4th. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that's really scary. That month went by really darn quick. <laughs> So what I wanted to talk to you today, talk to you about today, um, is setting goals. Now, just like everybody else, you know, New Year's comes and, uh, and even me, you know, I kind of made some New Year's resolutions. I wanted to do a couple different things, you know, run that, that 50K this year. Um, and thankfully, I've got another eight months or so before I have to, to do that. Um, but, you know, just like all of you, you know, I kind of set some New Year's goals and, and some I've stuck with, some I haven't stuck with. Um, you know, so setting goals, you know, what, is, what does that mean exactly? Um, you know, I think that different people want different things in their life. And <clears throat> whatever goal you do set, I do think that you can achieve it eventually. Um, depending on, on what the goal is, though, um, and how realistic it is, given the time frame that you want to achieve it. Um, those are, you know, a couple big factors on whether or not you're actually going to achieve that goal. I mean, you can't, uh, for instance, you know, go from not running at all to, you know, running a marathon in a month. I mean, you know, that's just unsafe. It, you're just not going to be able to do something like that. But if you were to maybe stretch that time out and give yourself you know, most of the year to prepare to do that, you could definitely do that. I've always been a firm believer that it's okay, um, you know, to give yourself a lot of time to reach those really important goals that you want to do. And I think that, you know, you as a person are very powerful, and I think that you can do anything that you want to do in your life as long as you give yourself a realistic amount of time and you have realistic expectations about, you know, what you're going to have to put into that. But along with that, you know, I wanted to talk about something that doesn't get a lot of play on, um, you know, running podcasts or motivational lectures and things like that, and that's failing. Um, I fail all the time. Uh, I have failed probably in my life more than I have succeeded. And, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, failing tests and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, setting a goal and not being realistic or not putting the time and the effort in that I need to overcome to reach that goal and failing. Um, you know, you can learn a lot from that. It's not always easy to go out there and try new things and reach your goals. And sometimes failing is a really good way for you to you know, test out what's going to work for you. Okay, well, you failed that time. You know, you tried that. It didn't work. Um, maybe if you try something else, it might work a little better. Um, there's nothing wrong with failing and, you know, getting that experience and finding out what works for you. And along with failing, there's something even bigger, and that's restarting. Um, you know, this week, my sister-in-law, she posted on Facebook about how she was kind of down on herself and everything because she felt like she really slipped um, her diet and her workout plan and all that stuff this last week. It's been kind of crazy in her life. She's had a lot of stress and stuff lately. And she was kind of like, you know, is it okay to start over? Of course it is okay to start over. Um, I do that all the time, all the time. Um, you know, just because you have one bad day, uh, you know, a few bad days, a bad week, a bad month, it does not mean that you should just throw the towel out the window and say, the hell with it, I'm not going to try and do this anymore, it's useless, I've failed. Don't, don't think like that, you know, because if you string enough of those little failures along and enough of those little restarts along, you're going to find that, hey, you, you actually are reaching your goals and you actually are doing what you want to do. Um, you know, every day is not perfect. Um, you're not always going to do your best and you're not always going to, you know, get the kind of results that you want. But as long as you keep trying, as long as you keep putting, 
you know, a good amount of effort into what you are trying to do, you'll be able to do it. Whether that's, you know, losing weight or, or learning how to run a 5K or, you know, whatever, all that kind of stuff. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. You within yourself, you are a very powerful person. You may not think so. Um, and, you know, a lot of those failures and those times that you had to restart make you feel like that may not be true. But you have a lot of power within yourself. You know, if somebody asked me 20 years ago if I thought that I would ever run a marathon or anything like that, I'd say they were crazy. There's no way that I could do that. That just isn't something that uh, I'm built for. Well, here I am, you know, and uh, run marathons all the time. And I'm going to be real crazy and try and do a 50K this year. And today, believe it or not, is the 400th day of running. Yeah, the 366 project did not stop. <laughs> kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I don't know when it's going to stop. I don't know. I'm probably going to have to break one of my legs before I can uh, actually take a day off from running. But yeah, today's day number 400 over, uh, I think, 1,600 miles in 400 days. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I didn't think that I could do 366, and I sure didn't think I could do a whole 400, but here I am. Um, so, you know, if if I would have sat there and, and doubted myself and, you know, mentally beat myself up all the time and, and do all that negative talk and stuff like that, I wouldn't be where I was today. You know, you don't, don't listen to those little demons in your head. Don't pay attention to the haters in your life because they're just hating because... They're jealous. Deep down inside, they're really, really jealous of you. So, 400 days. I'm going to do a little celebration tonight. Me and the family, maybe have a, a nice bottle of wine and, and relax. And, uh, you know, work on getting over this chest cold a little bit. But I hope all of you are doing well. And uh, believe in yourself. It is okay to restart. And keep reaching for your goals. And put some miles into your life. Take care, everybody. Talk to you later.